would happen if an enormous earthquake as destructive as a herd of elephants hit Sydney? Hmm, I wonder how earthquakes happen. Mum, Nathan, I can answer that for you. To understand earthquakes, you first have to understand what the ever-changing earth is made up of. Four main layers, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle and the crust. The crust on the surface of the earth is made up of many pieces, like a puzzle. All these pieces slowly move around, sliding past and bumping into each other. These puzzle pieces are called tectonic plates and their edges are called plate boundaries. And plate boundaries are made up of many faults. Most of the earthquakes around the world happen at these vault zones. A vault zone is where a big slab of rock that makes up the Earth's outer layer, known as tectonic plates, push against each other and they can get stretched or squeezed. Sometimes when these big rock slabs, called tectonic plates, push against each other, the actual impact is not even noticed on the Earth's surface. However, over time, stress can build up between plates. And they release heaps of energy. Yes, and when it's released, suddenly it sends massive vibrations. Called seismic waves and up and up, hundreds of kilometers and up to the Earth's ever-changing surface. Wow, so the seismic wave is the energy given off during an earthquake, dude. You got it, dude. St. Therese mascot must be teaching you great things. The seismic wave shakes the Earth as they move through it. But when the wave reaches the surface, what happens? They shake the ground and anything on it, like our houses and us. When seismic waves reach the Earth's surface, they are sometimes so strong that they collapse buildings and make cracks in the floors. Sometimes an earthquake is so strong that it can cause other natural disasters, such as tsunamis and volcanoes. Now, Mum, for the most exciting part, let's go to the library. School wasn't this exciting when I was a girl. Okay, here is a little demonstration we prepared earlier. Using Lego. Very nice. When an earthquake starts, you feel some shaking. The ground beneath you might start to split in half, and many objects will fall over and could crush you. If you find yourself in an earthquake, it is important to remain calm and not to panic. That's right, Mum. Good suggestion. So loss of life can be avoided through emergency planning, education, like this DVD informing you about the ever-changing earth, and the construction of buildings that won't break during an earthquake. Furthermore, if you find yourself in an earthquake, I suggest that you quickly dive under a piece of sturdy furniture, tuck up and cover your head with your arms. I also suggest that you stay indoors until the earthquake is over because if you go outside when you think the earthquake is over, there's a high chance that there will be an aftershock. You'll need enough food for 72 hours and plenty of water as well. You will need a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher too. And a portable radio and a torch. Because telephones could be out of order and the radio would be your best source of information. And pet food. If you have a pet, if you're outside, get away from chimneys and power lines because they could crush you.